guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a thrift with me it's been so long since i just did like a standalone thrift with me episode and i asked you guys on instagram what you wanted to see for this week's video and so many of you guys asked for a thrifting video so we are here at value village i'm really excited i honestly don't go thrifting nearly as much as i used to just because of everything going on in the world but today my father-in-law has rowan for a few hours so i have some time to just do some self-care i'm not really looking for anything super specific baby clothes maternity clothes nursery stuff but there's not like specific items that I'm on the hunt for so it's more just gonna be like hanging out and seeing what we find and I'm really excited this place just opened like it's 11 pretty much on the dot and there was a rush of people to get into the store so I'm thinking it's probably gonna be pretty busy so I'm gonna head in there now and yeah I'll see you guys there hopefully they're not playing music so that I can actually vlog but if not I'll take b-roll and I'll do a voiceover so you can still get in my head and see what I'm thinking. Got a mask up, of course. Ready to go. First step is always the furniture section because you gotta see if there's anything good here first because I feel like this stuff goes really quickly. How stinking cute is this little wooden rocking horse? I wonder if Rome would actually use this. It looks too tall for him, but it's really cute. This arched mirror for sure has potential. I feel like, especially if you painted it black, it would look so cute. All right, future Megan here. So they started playing music really loudly in the store and I didn't want to get a copyright strike. So I vlogged as normal and like said all the things that I was going to say. But what I'm going to do is just voice over the whole thing and say the exact same thing so there's no music in the background. So if it looks a little funky, that's why. And I'm sorry. Um, but otherwise I'll get a DMCA strike against my channel and I don't want to get my channel taken down. So they started playing music so loud, but I'm in the basket section now, which is always one of my favorites. Look at how stinking cute this little picnic basket is. Might have to get it. These are really cool. They're like clearly true vintage and there's a ton of them that match, which is so cool. I have my own little shopping basket. <laughs> this is potentially cute. I really like the wood tone of it. It's not too warm. It'd be super cute on a counter, but I don't need it. I've got way too much stuff on my counters. Okay, so I went to the baby girl's clothing and right away, look at this. This is coming home with me. This is so cute. I feel like baby girl clothes are so much easier to find thrifting than baby boy clothes. It's so stinking cute. I don't even see a brand, but I love it. So cute. I definitely should have gotten a cart. I always do this and I don't know why. Can't forget about Rowan, of course. I've got thrifting for baby boy stuff down to a science. So you just look for like colors and textures that you like. And like, look, I bet this one has a dinosaur on it. Oh no, it says my mom's number one BFF, even worse. <laughs> This is kind of a cute little puffer jacket. Very slim pickings for boys clothes today. Oh, this is kind of cute. Oh no, it's dogs, I thought it was dinosaurs. See, sometimes I like dinosaurs and sometimes I don't. Okay, I think I'm done in the kids section. I got like seven things for baby girl and one thing for Rowan, <laughs> but I've been thrifting for him for far longer. So he has a pretty established wardrobe. So now I'm gonna head to the maternity section see if I can find some pants because none of my fit me anymore. <laughs> they have such stunning vintage dresses today and if I was still running Nutmeg Vintage I would totally grab them. I love that one and I especially love this one. I love gingham, I love floral, and I love this color green. Honestly I would even buy this for me if it was my size but it's an extra lunch and also it's ten dollars. I'd probably get it for five. <laughs> So we're done at the first thrift store. I spent $34.36 and I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen things. That's pretty good, I think. Thirteen things for thirty-four dollars. So we're gonna head to a second thrift store because I have a little bit of extra time. And this one's more of a like small, it's not like a value village or a goodwill or anything. Anyways, we're gonna go there and see if we can find anything else and then we'll go home and do a haul. Apparently it's seniors day, so that's why it was so packed. It was just like a bunch of old people getting their 30% off. It's always so funny when I go into thrift stores and vlog because everybody's like, what are you doing? But I'm kind of used to it by now. <laughs> okay, let's go to the other thrift store. This wheat wreath is really cute. Is this what I'm thinking on to until fall, even though that's so far away? I actually got our bread box that we have that I'm pretty sure is this exact same one here also. Does anyone know what this is? It's like in the basket section, but it doesn't have an opening, so you can't put anything in it. It's really cute though. I'm 
I'm really hitting the jackpot with girls clothes today. I'm still on the lookout for a big sweater vest, but I really want one that's cable knit, so not quite it. Look at this super vintage potty training chair. It even has a little toilet paper holder and a magazine rack. Still no luck in the maternity pants section. It's mostly jeans, which I don't really like jeans. Those are slacks. I feel like all maternity clothes kind of just look alike after a while. Okay, thrifting mission accomplished. I spent $17 at the second store and I got quite a few things again. Let me see, do I have a receipt? It's in there somewhere, I'll show you when we get home. But I feel like I basically got baby girl an entire summer wardrobe today for like 50 bucks. So I honestly didn't expect to get this many things, but I'm really excited that I did. So I'm gonna head home because my father-in-law needs to get going and I need to tag in with Rowan and I will show you everything that we got. I got three things for Rowan, one thing for me, and then like 15 things for baby girl. So it was my day today with baby girl clothes. Let's head home. I'm home now. I just put Rowan down for his nap and I'm gonna do a little thrift haul. It's actually kind of a big thrift haul. Like I said, I got a few things for Rowan and myself. So I'm gonna show you guys those first and then I'll show you all of Juniper's stuff because that's a little bit more exciting. So for me, I got these like pistachio and white striped knit lounge pants. And these are from Target. I know they are still selling them at Target and there's a matching top. So I'll probably buy the matching top from Target to just like have another lounge set. And these are a large, but I got them anyway because they were $1.50. And I actually considered buying these from Target when I saw them in the store. And I feel like just with my big old belly and as I continue to grow, these will be really great. The other thing I really like about them is that they're jogger style at the bottom, which is great for us short people because anything that's not kind of like tapered at the ankle is just, I'm dragging it on the floor. Then I also got this picnic basket and that's probably gonna kill me for it. I've stuffed it with baby clothes to bring them in the house. But this was $2.99 and I don't know, I just really like the classic like opening of the flaps on either side. I didn't need another basket, but I also don't have one like this so somebody stage a basket intervention and then I got three things for Mr. Rowan so the number one thing I was looking for for him was pants because I feel like he's growing out of all of his pants and so I got him these they're like these speckled navy sweatpants and again joggers at the bottom and these are from Carter's they're 24 months and these were $1.29, so that was a good deal. And then he also recently outgrew his little Levi's, so I got him another pair of Levi's. I love finding baby Levi's at the thrift store. And these are size 2T, and they were $2.49. So he probably won't be able to wear these quite yet, but in a few months. And then lastly, this is a jacket from Old Navy and I got this because it feels like it's gonna be so warm. It's not like my absolute favorite color scheme, but it's also not one that I hate. It's just kind of like middle of the road. There's Mulford on it, on the tag, so I'll have to cross that out and write Acuna on it. But this is 12 to 18 months. It looks bigger than that to me. He'll be able to wear this now and probably through the rest of the winter. And it was $5.99. So a little bit pricier, but again, super warm. It's fleece lined, it's a puffer. And he likes to go outside and it's freezing outside. So I thought that, that would be a good thing to add to his wardrobe. And then this is not even all of it. <laughs> We've got clothes for baby girl. So I'm gonna show you guys. I did get the little knit carrot onesie. I'm obsessed with this. This might be my favorite thing that I got. It was really Really cool because it was a yellow tag day so this was $5.99 and I got it for three bucks which was really awesome didn't see a brand on it anywhere it looks like a like baby Bowden style to me but I don't know it feels very warm the tag says six months so hopefully this will fit her in the winter I just thought it was so cute I couldn't resist also winter wear I got her this like teddy snow bunting thing. I guess it's not like a snow suit because it's not water repellent or anything, but this is from Baby Gap. And honestly, I got it because it was $1.29 and I probably will want to get her like an actual snow suit, but I thought that this one was sweet for layering for like walks and stuff. So it's pretty big. It's six to 12 months. So Hopefully she'll be able to wear it. It's got little fold over feet. Just a nice basic to have. Speaking of basics, I got her this little pair of purple pants. I don't know, I just really like this color. It stood out to me. It's from Modern Moments by Gerber. Size three months. These were $1.29. I'm trying to add some like pinks and purples and ruffles and stuff into her wardrobe because a lot of what she's probably gonna wear is gonna be Rowan's old stuff and so like, 
I'll just add some girly stuff in and we'll make them all girl outfits. That's the great thing about gender neutral clothes is you can really make them go either way. Then I got this Minnie Mouse onesie um, from H&M and I specifically got this for my mother-in-law. I mean, it's for the baby, but on behalf of my mother-in-law because she's a big Disney person. So I knew that she would really like to see Juniper in this and I like that it's nice and neutral. I like that the minis are like vintage looking. I like the old animation style and this was $1.99 in size four to six months and I got her a couple pieces of denim and these are so like early 2000s I just couldn't resist them this looks like something I would have worn from limited to in like fifth and sixth grade and I just had to get them <laughs> I don't know it's a fun throwback they're from baby gap 1969 and they're 12 to 18 months so i don't even know if that like y2k style will still even be in in a year and a half but they were really cute and they were 249 so i picked them up anyway because they made me happy and then i'm always on the lookout for oshkosh overalls i think they're such a classic for babies and i have quite a few like plain denim pairs that rowan wears and also corduroy pairs but i found this embroidered denim pair i'm trying to like put it together so I can show you properly. And they've got little pink hearts on them. Those thinking cute. I also like that these are really soft and broken in. They're not like stiff at all. So hopefully they'll be pretty comfy for her. These are size nine months and they were $5. It's a little bit more of a splurge, but I thought they were super cute. And when they say nine months, it's usually like six to nine months and she'll be right around that age range for Valentine's day. She'll be seven months so hopefully those will fit her then oh my gosh i can't believe she's gonna be that big wait okay that's actually blowing my mind i feel so big she's three inches right now so i also got her this strawberry footed pajama outfit again this was five dollars so a little bit more of a splurge rowan had the blueberry version of this when he was a newborn so she'll get to wear that one too but this is six to nine months and you guys know anything with strawberries is just like my jam because that's a huge pregnancy craving of mine and i actually have a robe that i wore uh, to the hospital with rowan i'll probably wear again with baby girl that is pretty much this like same watercolor pink on pink strawberry print so we can kind of match and then the last thing that i got at value village was this little dress it's got little candy canes on it it has this little tiny bow which i'm actually not a huge fan of so i might take that off but i don't know i thought it was cute and festive it was 3.99 and i'm just now realizing that this is 12 month size so i don't know if this will fit her during christmas but we'll try i got a little too excited so yeah all of that stuff i got at value village for me for baby girl for rowan and it was 34 dollars for all of it like i said i did get the discount for the yellow tag on one item and i also used my 20 percent off coupon so that helped but i thought 34 dollars was really good for all that stuff and then i went into the saint vincent de paul and got you guessed it more baby girl clothes <laughs> They had some really fun, like unique pieces. And the first thing I found was this. Absolutely fell in love with it. It's the prettiest texture. It's got these little wooden buttons on the back. You guys see that texture? And this is size three to six months and it was $2.99. That was the first thing that I picked up and probably my favorite thing that I got from St. Vincent de Paul. I'm a sucker for bubble rompers. I just think they're so cute. Then I found two lemon print things and I couldn't decide so I got them both. The first one is this little bubble romper with flutter sleeves. Honestly these colors are like a little bit more out there for me but I got them anyway. I really love yellow so if I'm gonna incorporate a color it's probably gonna be yellow. This was $2.99. It's from Tommy Bahama and it's a three to six month. Super cute. And then this one my plan is to remove the bows on it because I really like the um, little like ruffly sleeves and again it's a bubble romper. This one's actually like a really dramatic bubble which I think is super cute. And this reminded me of an influencer that I follow who has a daughter who's probably like five now. And I remember in the hospital, she had like a white and yellow lemon print swaddle and I thought it was the cutest thing. So this is my like homage to that because I remember thinking, oh my gosh, that's so cute. When I have kids one day, I wanna do something like that. Staying on the fruit theme, I also found this little onesie for 99 cents. It's a blueberry onesie and it has little flutter sleeves on it and this is size three to six months I don't know I thought it was cute I like fruit print stuff clearly because we've got 
and vegetable because we've got the carrot, we've got <laughs> strawberries, blueberries, and two lemons. And this was $1.99 and this is from Old Navy and I'm not sure about this one. I got it because I like the colors but I'm not a huge fan of like cartoony things on baby clothes but there are like these little smiling happy suns and I like the cut of it. It's a bubble romper, surprise, surprise. It's got flutter sleeves. I don't know, I still think it's cute. It's just a little bit out of my comfort zone, which is good. Then second to lastly, I got this little denim pinafore dress and this is from Cat and Jack, which I believe is a Target brand. And I don't know, I thought this is super cute to like layer underneath, even like in the fall to layer underneath like a long sleeve t-shirt or a sweater and like some knee high socks. I thought that would be really sweet. This was $1.99. I'm just realizing this says that it's size 3T. This is definitely supposed to be a top, but we're gonna wear it as a baby dress because it was in the baby section. Did I just not even check? How funny. Oops. It's gonna be cute when she's 3T as a top. And then lastly, I'm just realizing that I got like these pants and this like clearly I was having a bit of a like purple plummy moment today. This is from O2 Baby and it's just a little sleep sack with like a fold over bottom. These are really convenient for diaper changes as a newborn. So this is zero to three months. And I just have never had anything in this color for Rowan obviously, or for me. So I thought that would be a fun little addition. Obviously I went a little bit crazy. I got a lot of stuff, but honestly for 50 bucks, I feel like that was a really good deal. And I think my number one tip with trying to curate like a really cute baby wardrobe, here's more, is to thrift as much as you can. And then once you've kind of thrifted a good amount of stuff, you can see where you're missing pieces. And that's when you splurge on the more fun, like designer, like Quincy May or Riley and Crew or whatever. When you see like, oh, she doesn't have a lot of like long sleeve dresses or whatever, then you can kind of fill in the gaps. But this is a great way to do it super affordably to start. And it's also super eco-friendly, which is a bonus. Anyway. That is gonna be the end of this video because I'm hungry and I want lunch. And I also need to get all of this in the wash because looking forward to trying these pants on. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you want me to do more thrift hauls as we kind of start to decorate the nursery and I continue to look for clothes for her and obviously for me too. But I had a lot of fun spending the day with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.